Good morning. <laughs> so, um, excuse me if you can see any deep lines on my face. You know when you sleep really solid and really deep the second half of the night and uh, sometimes you wake up with white drool, <laughs> eye crests, and lines on your face. Well, I probably still have some. I know actually I do. I don't care. But the funny thing is, um, my camera is usually set on record for videos, but I took pictures for my one of my clients. Uh, I took pictures of his dogs. Um, I, I was doing it just to be thoughtful and I'll show you the pictures but when I went to push the button it took my picture <laughs> and the look on my face was <laughs> instead of hitting record <laughs> so anyway <clears throat> I'll show you the pictures they came out pretty pretty good this is the female dog that um, I walk. She looks so noble. And this funny guy, he's the younger one. He's the moose. This is the one, it may look, um, it may look a bit deceiving, but that guy is like 80 pounds all muscle. <laughs> ah, following me. <laughs> So, yeah, I was just going to leave the pictures in his living room without a card and just not say anything. And Because uh, he has pictures of his other um, animals that he used to have in the past. And I noticed he didn't have any new ones of his two recent children. Because those are his children. So, I'm doing this video for someone I know. I can't really say I know anyone on YouTube, so we'll just say a beautiful acquaintance that um, shows humility and it truly shows that she has a love for the Lord Jesus Christ. And like anyone else, she's working out her own salvation and like everyone else, including myself, we make mistakes along our walk. The importance is that we recognize the mistakes we make, we repent from them, turn away from them, and we don't do them again. That's true repentance. It's not just saying sorry and then keep doing the same things over and over again and think that, you know, that's cool with our Father. He knows your heart. He knows where your heart is. Is your heart with him? And do you truly want to come away from certain things that hurt him? Or are you lying to yourself and essentially lying to the Lord Jesus Christ by just confessing with your mouth and your heart is not with him? So the topic I wanted to clear to clarify excuse me I'm not a speaker is this misconception and this deception of Lordship salvation I want to make it very clear and it's obvious for those of us who have eyes to see that it's one of Satan's tactics and something that he's placed um, in this spiritual warfare, Ephesians 6.12, that it's twisting of understanding, it's twisting of words, and it only is causing confusion to those who don't have his Holy Spirit. If you have his Holy Spirit, you clearly see um, the deception 
of of what Satan's doing by adding salvation to the word lordship when we all know that you cannot be saved by anything of your own doing you cannot be saved by carnal works and you cannot be saved by any means but through the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, through His mercy, through His grace, and through faith. So, what I see, I'm only going by my own testimony, is adding salvation to Lordship is what this, is what's making people um, argue over something that doesn't exist. Lordship salvation doesn't exist. Lordship exists, salvation exists, but the two aren't together. Satan put those together to cause conflicts, to cause separation, and to cause chaos, and it does. Um, you have those of us who have his Holy Spirit who explain to those who do not that when you acquire his Holy Spirit and become born again, you naturally, and it's nat it says natural as breathing, that you naturally are obedient. You understand his commandments from your heart and you repent from your old ways your old self dies that's what becoming born again actually means your old self dies because you were the walking dead before you came to christ you were dead in your sins then you became born again in the spirit his holy spirit and you became a new creation a new person in Christ so your fruits you automatically want to be obedient you you understand the Lord Jesus Christ's heart and what he requires of you when you're in a healthy loving relationship when you're in a relationship with someone you want to make that other person happy you don't want to do things to hurt that other person <clears throat> and the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ has his commandments set in place is because it's for your best interest because the Lord Jesus Christ sees the spiritual aspect he sees things we cannot see that he knows that by doing such and such you're harming yourself you're murdering yourself those that don't have eyes to see they don't understand it they cannot understand it because they don't have his Holy Spirit that's where the confusion is set in so when you say that you're obedient and you're completely changed, people who don't have his Holy Spirit is like, oh, you're trying to earn the Lord Jesus Christ's love. You're trying to work for your salvation. And it's like, no, the Lord Jesus Christ already saved me. This is my fruit to show people that I'm a walking testimony of what he's done in my life. It's not to prove anything. And on top of that, I don't believe anything I do in a carnal nature does anything, you know, but make me happy that I help others. Because this is a spiritual warfare, not a carnal warfare. So Satan's very clever by adding salvation to lordship and by making the word lordship sound negative and sound terrible 
and sound wrong because do we not add the Lord Jesus Christ? Do we not add that to his name? He is Lord. You have to submit and say that he is Lord. If not, and here's where the little clever part comes in. If you're not making the Jesus Christ Lord in your life, someone else is thinks he's above all and he is making himself Lord through your sins, through your misunderstanding, through your lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6, my children perish due to the lack of knowledge. So again, Satan's tactic is to have people come up to you to make you feel bad that you're making Jesus Christ Lord in your life. But the trickery is that if you're not making Jesus Lord in your life, and you're leaning on your own understanding and that's basically kind of making yourself Lord in your life, but you're not Lord in your life, Satan's Lord in your life if Jesus is not. Satan's residing in your temple if you don't have his Holy Spirit and you acknowledge that there's only one Lord and that's Jesus Christ. Now, people who just throw that Lordship salvation, there's no such thing. It, there's no such thing. Okay, again, let me remind you that it's Satan's clever tactic to pe for people who don't understand. Because again, if you don't have his Holy Spirit, you're under a strong delusion. You can't see. You cannot hear that you're confused because here's the other thing it's very clear in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 22 listen to no man that's the Lord Jesus Christ I it's not part of the commandments but it is his command to you to not listen to man he didn't say listen to some men listen to any man he said listen to no man because you will be accursed you will be under strong delusion you will be confused because you're listening to other confused people who have no idea what they're talking about because they don't have his holy spirit they're going down that path that wide path to destruction Narrow and few find that path. Few who actually have acquired his Holy Spirit, which is understanding. I'm going to read one scripture and close it off. <clears throat> John chapter 16, verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. So the Holy Spirit leads you into all truth. So <clears throat> when you're listening to man, man is a stumbling block. And you need to repent from that. Don't watch other people's videos as if, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> as if they're teachers. There are no teachers but His Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 5, I believe, it tell, it's very clear that says, your only teacher should be His Holy Spirit. So man is a stumbling block because most men are going down that path to destruction. I'm not, I would never, sorry, that was my laundry. <laughs> <clears throat> I would never try to mislead anyone because then I'm in trouble. 
and I would never put myself out there to <clears throat> to endanger my own um, salvation by giving the wrong information. I'm only trying to plant good seeds. That's it. Truthful seeds that the Lord Jesus Christ waters if you allow him to. If you humble yourself. That's the whole key. Is if you can't let go of your prideful arrogance, know it all ways, and let go of all the indoctrination and lies that the world has instilled in you, the Lord Jesus Christ can't fill a cup that's already filled. You have to empty your cup. You have to empty all of it out, all the indoctrination, before he can fill your cup up with truth only. I hope this was helpful. I'm not a teacher. I do the best I can, but I do love you, and I hope that this was very clear. There's no such thing as lordship salvation, but you do need to make Jesus Christ Lord in your life, or someone else, something else, the Antichrist spirit, will reside in your temple, and that spirit will make itself Lord in your life. It is really that black and white. You make Jesus Christ Lord in your life and make the right decision, or the decision's going to be made for you. I love you, and God bless.